Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my foundation routine as well as highlight contour the whole face. So if you guys are wondering how I do it, just keep on watching. Um, excuse my eye look. It's not the greatest today and the last two, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I already did my eyes and eyebrows and then the next thing I do is my face. So I'm gonna start off with... Um, Priming it, well not really priming, but moisturizing, and I moisturize it with this H2O Beauty Serum. I love putting serums before putting a foundation, just because I know my skin is getting the treatment it needs. And then I put on makeup, so yeah. And then next I prime, and right now I'm using the Hourglass, um, Hourglass Mineral Veil, but I'm like out, because this is like a little sample size. It was a 100 point perk at Sephora, and it's so good but i can't repurchase it because it's so expensive so at the moment i'm using two foundations it's either the la girl pro coverage foundation and fair or it's the makeup forever ultra hd stick and this is in y315 i think today i'm gonna use this i've been using the la girl every day now and i love this foundation like it gives a full coverage with one like thin layer for me so this is amazing and this kind of reminds me of the makeup forever that one foundation i don't know what it's called but the packaging is very very similar um and it comes with a pump mine is dirty but I just love everything about this. It's illuminating foundation and it really does give out a, like a radiant look. So if you're oily, I don't know if you'll like this foundation. I have normal skin, normal to dry if you guys are wondering. And I also bought this uh, LA Girl Pro Coverage White Foundation to mix in with all my... Um, foundations just because some foundations are really dark on me or they have a weird undertone so this is great um to get the perfect match well almost the perfect match so this is very long wearing as well i wear i wear this like for 12 hours or more and i don't see any creasing it doesn't wear off anywhere this this is amazing <laughs> and i think this retails for 10 bit on jet.com you could get it for like Eight. So yeah, I just pump this on my hands and I just take my finger and dot it all over the face. And I don't even know if I'm doing foundation right or not because I just started wearing it this year. But since this was a requested video, uh, I will make it. But yeah, I'm just letting you guys know I'm not a pro at this at all. And if you guys have any like foundation suggestions, let me know. I never thought I would wear foundation, but that's amazing. So I'm going to blend this out with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I usually use this one. I don't have a foundation brush. That's amazing. I just, this works. So yeah. Uh, or I just use a beauty blender, but beauty blenders um, take too long. Like, I don't like doing this for a long time. And uh, I don't have a sink near me, so I don't want to go and wet it. So I I'm just lazy. Um, so yeah, this works. I love this brush. And also, if you guys have a brush that I recommend, let me know. I'm just going in like circular motion. Nothing special. And buffing it into my skin. I barely put on any foundation. Um, and look at this coverage. Like, it's crazy. And then like under the eyes, I usually don't put a lot of foundation because I am going to use concealer. Um, if you guys are wondering why I didn't really blend right there. I don't know if you could tell through the camera, but it's very luminizing. And then for concealer, I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me, but that one's in my car right now. Um, so I am using the <clears throat> Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage this is in the shade light beige this concealer is pretty good it's not full coverage but it's still great for everyday wear and i just apply this under the eyes like a triangle like most people 
and I usually just focus it here and a little bit on the forehead and that's it. I don't really do anywhere else. And I just take this on a Morphe G2 brush. I love this brush for under the eyes. It's just the perfect um, shape for it. And I literally just pat it out. Okay, so that's basically it for my foundation routine. But I'm going to show you guys how I finish my face, like highlight and contour. Um, so, actually that's not it because I forgot to set my face. So I usually just set my face with a loose face powder. Right now I'm using the Airspun one and this is um, translucent. And I take it on this Real Techniques new sponge they have and this side's for contouring this side's for highlighting but i don't even use this to blend my foundation i love using this to bake this angle for some reason is really amazing for getting under the eyes and it just packs a lot and i barely have to put any look like it's just the perfect amount and sh the perfect shape and i also put it on my forehead because i do get a little oily there and down the bridge of the nose and for the rest of the face I set it with either this bourgeois healthy balance powder setting powder or this one from the balm the sexy mama it really doesn't matter because um, it's just face powder honestly and I'm gonna take that on a morphe s19 brush I literally just swirl it a lot and set my whole face Okay, for contouring, I usually use the um, this one, which is the Wet n Wild uh, Duo, or the Kat Von D one, um, the middle shade Shadow Play. So, these are my go-tos. I think I'm going to use the Wet n Wild one. I've been using the Kat Von D one way too much. Okay, mine broke. That's how much I use it, and I already hit pan on the bronzer. It's really affordable and it's amazing. So I'm going to take this contour shade on a, um, this is a crown brush. This is the C320 Preci Precision Powder. And what I do is like, I basically take the top of my ear to the end of my mouth and I contour right there. And I just literally go in circular motions and I try to like, stop right around here and not bring it too low but even if i do i just put like loose face powder to clean it up okay and then i take a little bit and i put it on my forehead and then i take just a little bit and put it like up my jawline just a little bit though, because my jawline's pretty sharp. Um, I don't need any more attention on it. Take this again. This is the perfect shape. I'm telling you guys, it's something about this cut. And it just fits perfectly right here. So I just clean this up and leave it to bake for a little bit as well. Um, so I'm going to wipe off the powder from under the eyes with this. This is the blush brush from Real Techniques, but I really like this for powder. And then we're going to contour the nose. Like, I don't, I'm not really good at contouring the nose. Um, I need a lot more practice. Okay, to contour the nose, I'm taking the same shade. And I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe S to one brush it's like a flat shader brush but kind of fluffy and i just take a little bit and i put it on this you know you know how to contour a nose i'm literally just shading it so that my nose can look a little bit more narrow and i'm just taking a little at a time if you like do a messy job it's okay because i usually clean it up with powder
Okay, and sometimes I just take my finger and blend it out a little bit. And then at the end of the nose, I usually just draw like a little V. Yeah, and I just keep blending that out with my finger. It's just easier. And to clean it up, like I said, I usually take this and just, actually I take the other side and I just literally sculpt it out even more and clean up those lines. And also the powder makes the line look less, less harsh. So yeah. And then I'm gonna highlight the bridge of my nose. And that's basically how I contour. I'm just going to let that bake for a little bit. And then we're going to put blush and highlight. I'm going to wipe this off with the same blush brush. And then same goes with the nose. And then for blush, I've been using the Morphe 9N palette. I love this blush palette. Like, look guys. It just comes with like every single shade that you need. These shades can be used in the summer or the fall. That's why I really, really like this palette. I highly recommend. And for um, the brush, I'm going to be using S13. I like using angled brushes. I think I'm going to take this shade right here. It's just a really nice mauve blush. And I literally just dab it on the apples of my cheeks. I don't smile or anything, but I just I just know where to put it. My go-to highlight is this Sleek Highlighting um, Solstice Palette. And I usually mix these two colors together. But today I'm going to use something different. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlight in 02. I freaking love this highlight. I got it at the makeup show if you watch my haul and I haven't got to use it yet. Um, and I finally used it this week and I love it. It's amazing. Um, it's so good that I, I picked up the other shade, the pink one, um, at the VIB sale. So, okay, so I'm gonna take this on a Morphe R12 brush and it's like a fan brush I love this brush it's thick like it's dense but it's not too dense and it's just so soft and it feels so luxurious so yeah so I'm gonna take a little bit tap it off and put it on the high points of my cheeks or my cheekbones this is just a really nice golden champagne color I don't know if it's popping up on camera, but this is, this is a good highlight. And then I take some on my nose, but just a little bit, not too much. And I put a little bit at the center. I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye with the same thing. And I just really like this highlighter, guys. Like, I highly recommend it all these products i highly recommend i use them every single day so yeah for the lips i'm gonna use the jouet um creme brulee liquid lipstick okay my lips are a little bit too chapped for this the very last step we're gonna set the face I've been using the Scandinavia Finishing Bridal Spray. Love this stuff. My makeup lasts all day and it gives such a nice finish. So, highly recommend. So, that's all for my foundation routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope it helped you guys out. And um, I love y'all so much much i can never say it enough uh thank you for always constantly supporting me and watching my videos and i'll see you in my next one